a European Australian travel vlogger traveled to Guyana or she lives in Guyana and she said some things about Guyana and the Guyanese people that caused a lot of people to be upset. People throughout the Caribbean, throughout the diaspora actually commented on it and they are not happy about it. I'd like you to take a listen to what this lady have to say. But before I start playing it, there is two parts of this video and we will focus on both parts, right? Uh, one part of it, the first part actually, not much people are talking about it. I haven't heard one individual mention anything about it, which to me is just as crucial as the second part, right? So we'll listen to the first part. I'm going to stop the video. I'll say something about it and then we will continue. Favorite thing about Guyana is, okay, is that I'm the prettiest girl here. People mix that up. Guyana is also the fastest growing economy in the world and that is because of the recent oil discovery and you know if it's one thing we love, okay, it's some oil money. It's actually one of the largest oil discoveries in this last 21st century and I don't think we're going to see anything like this for a while, okay? So buckle up kids and come make some money. I think like the population is 800,000. Last time I checked, so like no one is basically, yeah. Um, but I think a lot of people are like just chilling in the forest because um, that's what I would be doing. Okay, my favorite thing about Guyana because I'm literally sick in the head is that this is literally where the Jonestown massacre happened. You know where like Jim Jones told everyone to like drink the Kool-Aid and like a thousand people died in the jungle? Yeah, right here, right where I'm living. I don't know if it's just because I am obsessed with true crime, but I love that part about Guyana. And I always said that someone should do a little like Jonestown tour or like museum here, like centered around the mass murder. Yeah, so she said that Guyana is one of the fastest growing economy in the world. And you know one thing about us, we love oil money. So she's there for the economy. She's there for the money. She's not simply a travel vlogger. And I know many people are focusing mostly on the second part of her reasoning but this part right here is very crucial because she's not the only one who's there trying to get their hands in it this is not a simple thing many people were killed and murdered over oil and natural resources and as she mentioned they don't see this or anything like this happening again anytime soon so right now they are taking advantage of it Coming from Europe, coming from Australia, same people, they're heading towards the oil. So if the local people don't have their act together, then guess what? These people are going to take over. Because as you can see, she did some research. She knows something about your history. She looked at the census to know how many people there. And this is just the top of the iceberg. She's not telling you everything that she looked into. She's not telling you the people who she's affiliated with, right? So we need to assume a lot further than what we are hearing right here. And if we don't ignore or neglect history, then we will have a very good idea of how to approach these type of stuff. And so many people would not be angry because we would know what to expect. We will know what is to come. If you find some oil, you know who is coming and why they are coming. It's not because they love you and your culture. They can give a rat's ass about your culture. They have wiped out many people and care very little about the culture. It's about the money. It's about greed. It's about wealth. 